I have recreated the game Pac-Man in Unity, but the Pac-Man is controlled by artificial intelligence and had to learn how to dominate the game all by himself. Recently I've been watching some of Code Bullet's older videos. I mean, what else am I supposed to do? Dude posts videos less frequently than penguins poop. I actually googled this and f***ers poop 6 to 8 times an hour. What? Wait a second. What's that? Penguins shoot poop bombs more than 4 feet. What the f***? If the Olympics awarded medals for long distance pooping, penguins would have taken home the gold. What the hell is this incredibly important study? Anyways, in one of his older videos, he tried teaching an AI to play Pac-Man and it seemed like it wasn't the easiest task for the agent. That made me curious whether I could do something similar perhaps and you know, hmm? maybe get some better results? Who knows? Hmm? Let's try. Alright, first things first, we need a map. And not just the map. Oh no 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 no. Pac-Man map is unique and special. Well, not really. Basically, the map consists of four-sided tiles. On each side of the tile, there can be a wall through which you won't be able to pass. At every point where we would be able to turn in another direction, we place a node. And those nodes will later be used by the Ghost AI to navigate in the environment. The map is filled with small cheese pallets, eating which gives Pac-Man points. Besides regular pallets, there are also power pallets. Consuming those, Pac-Man will get the ability to eat ghosts for a set amount of time. Oh, also there are these portals that allow you to go from one side of the map to the other. So yeah, that's the final maze result that I made. By the way, in case you're wondering where I took these assets from, I'm following a tutorial from Ziggurus on how to make a Pac-Man game, which I highly recommend, and I'll leave the link in the description down below. Then I have added the Pac-Man character and made him move around. That was quite simple. Next I've added the cheese pallets on the map and made Pac-Man consume them on collision, finally giving him a purpose in life. But no matter how much we would like that, life can't only be about eating, right? So it's time to add some misery to his existence by implementing ghosts. In Pac-Man, ghosts will have several different behavior states. The main, uh, the most important one is the chase state. During this state, the ghost will, well, chase the Pac-Man and try to reach and eat it. The second behavior is scatter, and during this state, the ghost will abandon chasing and will return to their home areas. Lastly, the frightened state is triggered when Pac-Man consumes a power pellet, making the ghosts dark blue and giving Pac-Man the possibility to actually eat them. I've also quickly added some UI elements, which will show the current iteration, how many lives does Pac-Man have. However, since mama ain't raised no poop, we'll go with only one life. Oh, and also we can see the current score. Great, now we basically ended up with a regular Pac-Man game. Time to train the AI! If you are new on this channel, you might be wondering, how exactly I'm gonna train the AI to do something? The answer is machine learning. Machine learning is a form of artificial intelligence which allows the agent to learn how to overcome challenges from the environment rather than you straightforward coding the solutions into its head. It does so by using neural networks. And those aren't called neural networks just by accident. The reason for that is because they actually work in quite a similar fashion as our brains do. Punishing the agent for wrong actions and rewarding it for the correct ones which results in the agent learning which actions to take in order to solve a given task. In this case, Pac-Man will be rewarded for each pellet eaten and punished for every time it dies. Later on in the training, I have added another reward for eating the ghosts, but at the beginning I was training the AI in an environment without any danger. Actually, there kinda was one danger. If Pac-Man would not eat any pellets for 30 seconds, it would die. Think of it as hunger of some sort, Without any real threat, all this fella could do was explore the map, eat pellets and be happy. Easy, right? Wrong! It got stuck on the simplest task. At the beginning of each run, everything seemed promising, but then the AI just got stuck in the top left corner. I have no clue why and I have spent so much time trying to figure out the reasons and attempting to solve the issue, but to no avail. After a few days of struggle, I decided to rewatch Code's Bullets video and notice this little moment in his video. For an AI. So I had to change the controls up to make it far more intuitive for them. Instead of the controls turning Pac-Man in an absolute direction, like north, south, east or west, like they normally are, I had to change it so it's relative to Pac-Man. 
So for example, turn left or right. This way they could have simple rules such as when Pac-Man sees a wall in front of it, it turns left. Well, that actually worked. This little trick saved me so much more time of struggle. The agent immediately started learning after changing the movement of the agent from a global axis where right and left are always the same to a local one where left and right are always based on Pac-Man's current rotation. Initially, the AI was unable to win even without any dangers. It would walk through the map but would get lost somewhere and lose the game. However, soon enough it realized how the game works and started being much more efficient in his scouting. It wasn't too long after when the agent won for the first time. And again. And again. Time to step up the difficulty a notch, so I've added one ghost. Eating power pellets doesn't do anything at the moment, otherwise instead of running from the ghost, the AI would think it is almighty and would try to eat the ghost instead which, needless to say, is not a very efficient strategy in the long run. It took few iterations, but it seems the agent started to finally understand that the ghost is actually dangerous. Soon after we got another win, but this time with a ghost on the map. So time to add all the other ghosts. This made the AI struggle for quite a bit. It wasn't able to win the game, but it still learned much better how to avoid ghosts, so time to make the game fair and activate the power pellets. It took some time for the agent to figure out the new change, but once it realized how power pellets work, the game became much easier. And soon after, our little Pac-Man AI managed to win the complete game for the first time. Nice. Initially, I had the idea to make it so you can play as one of the ghosts and swap between them. The goal would be to catch the Pac-Man AI before all the pellets have been collected. However, during the development I must have messed something with the code and as a result the AI performed well only when the timescale was large and was underperforming drastically when the timescale was regular. Which means that for a human player it would either be extremely boring and easy or it would be quite impossible to play because the timescale is too big. If you'd like me to retrain the model once again and make a game out of it, let me know in the comments below and I might come back to this project later. Hope you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe and see you in the next one.